True to our nerdy name, I went on a nerd spree this year and analyzed tons and tons of rental car data on a quest to find the cheapest company to rent from, the cheapest city to book at, and answers to other burning rental car questions I had. My team and I at NerdWallet analyzed 360 rental car prices. We looked at data across eight major rental car companies from 10 major cities and across other factors like booking at airport facilities versus downtown. What we found was super illuminating and not necessarily what you would expect. Let me tell you my biggest revelations. Number one, the cheapest rental car company to book from. I was wondering, is thrifty all that thrifty? Would budget really help you stick to your budget? Here's what I found about rental car companies. National Car Rental was the most expensive, followed by Alamo Rent-A-Car. Enterprise Rent-A-Car, budget, hertz, and dollar all ranked among the cheapest. I looked at average weekly rental car prices. At Enterprise, the average was $480. At National, it was $695. That's a more than $200 price difference. The second thing I considered was whether it's cheaper to rent a car from the airport versus a similar car from the same company at a downtown location. It turns out that it is 26% more expensive to rent a car from the airport versus the downtown facility. Now that's not necessarily just because rental car companies think they can raise their prices at the airport location. A lot of it actually comes down to airport fees. Airports typically tend to impose fees on the rental car companies that operate there. Fees vary by airport and they vary by what they actually cover, but typically airports say that they cover things like cleaning, security, or a shuttle to get you from the airport to the rental car facility, which might be slightly offsite from the actual airport. I will be candid and say sometimes it's honestly more convenient to just rent the car from the airport. Even if it's 26% more expensive, there's the convenience that you can just rent the car and go off on your vacation. That said, I want you to consider actually booking the car downtown, and it's not just to save money on the rental itself. It might save you money in other aspects as well. First off, you're only paying for the day that you actually use the car. Say you're flying into a place like Denver. You might have plans to go on a ski trip in the mountains for the middle of your trip, but on the first night, you might be spending it in downtown Denver. There, you probably don't need a rental car. The train from the airport to downtown is super fast and convenient. And when you're in downtown Denver, it's a really walkable, public transit friendly city. You also typically have to pay for parking in downtown Denver. So if you book your rental car downtown, then you're not paying for parking on nights that you're not using the car and you only pay for the rental on the days that you're actually using it. Another thing I want you to consider about renting offsite versus downtown is that you might actually save time. A lot of rental car facilities that are listed as on-site at an airport aren't actually on-site. They require you to take a shuttle to get there. Now consider that there's time to actually take that shuttle and then there's also time waiting for the shuttle. You might find that the shuttle only runs every 20 or 30 minutes, which can be a giant waste of time when you're on your vacation and you wanna get going. Another thing to consider is the lines. Now I'm not saying that an airport versus downtown location might have longer or shorter lines, but consider if a big flight just landed, you might have a longer line at the airport location that you wouldn't necessarily find downtown. The next thing I considered is the cheapest city to rent a car from. My team and I analyzed the 10 major cities with the largest airports. Here's what we found. Within the US, the three cheapest cities to rent a car from on average are number one, Charlotte, North Carolina, two, Orlando, Florida, and three, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Meanwhile, the three most expensive metro areas to rent a car from are Chicago, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. Now you might be wondering, when is the best time to rent a car? Conventional wisdom suggests that booking far out in advance is always going to be cheaper than booking last minute. Well, let me tell you, here's a situation where procrastinators win. My study found that it's actually cheaper to book a car a week out versus three months in advance. The average cost of a week-long rental car three months out was $589. Meanwhile, the cost to book one week out was $513. That means that customers pay on average $75 more to book a week-long rental car three months in advance compared with booking the same rental just a week in advance. Now, I don't want you to interpret this advice as always procrastinate. In fact, I would still recommend that you book your rental car as far out as possible. As soon as you know of your trip, go ahead and book that rental car. Here's why. 
Most rental car companies don't actually require payment for your reservation upfront. It's more common that you pay for the rental car at the counter once you're actually there. So I would recommend as long as your rental car company doesn't require payment upfront, go ahead and make that reservation as far out as possible. Then periodically recheck the rates. If they do go down, and there's a good chance they will based on my study, then just cancel and rebook. You always wanna make sure you have a reservation locked in, especially now I'm finding that rental cars are selling out. So you don't wanna have that trip planned only to find that there's not a rental car available simply because you procrastinated or just tried to save money. I'm Sally French, a travel and credit cards expert at NerdWallet. I'm not really into fancy cars, but once I used GetAround to rent a BMW in Denver. Why? Because it was cheaper than all of the rental cars from the airport. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe.